Outspoken ex-professional footballer Joey Barton has been on the warpath across social media these past few days, berating ITV and other television channels for indulging in DEI tokenism by hiring female footballers and female ex-footballers to provide clueless commentary on the men's professional game. High TV were so incensed by this that they posted their own trite virtue signalling response to Barton's criticisms on Twitter, stating that for Joey Barton, an ex-professional player with a significant social media presence, to target two of our pundits, Enya Luco and Lucy Ward, with such vindictive remarks based on gender is clearly contemptible and shameful on his part. Football is for everyone. Well, yes, football is for everyone, but getting paid a fat wad of cash for expert analysis of the men's professional game isn't for everyone, is it? It's for those with the expertise to do so. Women's football in the UK has had enormous investment publicity and support over the past decade, and yet still nobody's watching it. And even the highest ranking professional female footballers are of a standard where they'd struggle against an under 14 schoolboy team. Professional men's football in England, on the other hand, is an industry that generates billions of pounds around the world each year. So as much as you might wish to screech about diversity and inclusivity, ITV, I'm afraid facts don't care about your feelings. And the fact is DEI has failed in football and in every other industry. Skilled, capable people are frozen out of the workplace based on their biological characteristics and replaced by meritless bungling box tickers. We've become a nation of professional Competence under an autocracy of pompous moralising halfwits. Nowhere is that more obvious than in the flooding we've been seeing across the UK in recent days. Whilst a variety of eco nut jobs pop their heads out of the loony bin to scream about climate change, the reason for this flooding is not extreme weather, but because councils up and down the country haven't been carrying out drain maintenance that should be absolutely standard. And guess what? Where there's blocked drains, there are floods. And why have councils not performed this most basic fundamental service? Because they're staffed from top to bottom by clueless diversity box tickers, incompetent blaggers, shirking from home, collecting a fat paycheck, fat pension and driving councils into bankruptcy. And the longer this DEI culture continues, the more ubiquitous it becomes in UK industry, the more dysfunctional, broken, poverty-stricken and divided this country will become. Just a reminder, I'm doing a live tour date in Southampton on the 8th of March. Tickets are only £14. Tick a link beneath this video. Please do like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.